This video demonstrates an Arduino-based personal identification number system. A user enters a 4-digit PIN number to switch on a 5-volt relay. This relay can then be used to lock or unlock a door. Let's have a look at the components used in this project. We have here a 4x3 keypad interface to the digital pins of the Arduino Nano. We also have a 0.96 inch OLED screen interface to analog lines A4 and A5 using the I squared C interfacing. We also have a 5 volt relay switch interface to a digital pin of the Arduino and we have two LEDs red and blue interface to digital pins of Arduino. A quick description of the system. The system can be in two modes. We have the locked mode where the relay switch is uh, inactive and the user is required to enter a four digit password through the keypad here. If the user enters the correct pin number, then the system goes into the unlocked mode and the relay switch is activated. The LEDs are used as indicators. In the locked mode, the red LED will be on, and in the unlocked mode, the blue LED will be on. Now for a quick demonstration. The system is designed to recognize the pin number 2580. Once the system is unlocked, the user then has to press the symbols hash or star to lock the system. Pressing any other pin combination will not unlock the system. Now for a quick uh, explanation of the code. Here we have uh, the header files used in the program, one for the keypad and two for the I2C interface. These preprocessor directives are related uh, to the OLED, and these are related to the, uh, to the keypad. What's important here is that uh, these are the digital pins uh, connected into, uh, to the rows of the keypad, and these are the digital pins connected to the columns. The global variables used here, we have uh, uh, a string, a dynamic string called pin, which will store the correct uh, or the required uh, pin number, which is 2580, which can easily be changed to any other number. And here we have all the variables needed to interface uh, the output profiles the two LEDs and the relay. Variable position acts as an index to the position of the element within the string. So this would be position zero and the last position would be three. So we have four positions. Inside the setup function, this part is responsible for the uh, OLED screen interface with the Arduino. And here we define the pin modes of the peripherals and they are all output. Function lock, which will be explained shortly in more detail, is responsible for putting the system in lock mode. And we put this function inside the setup so that every time we restart the system, it will start in the lock mode. The code inside the loop function starts by getting a key press from the keypad and then displaying the key value on the OLED screen. If the user presses one of the symbols star or hash, then the program will jump to function lock to put the system in lock mode. The code then compares the input key value with the string value at element position. Keep in mind the initial value of position is zero. If the comparison is true, then the pressed key corresponds to a correct digit of pin 
and variable position is incremented by one to point to the next element of string pin. Next, the code checks if all the four digits were entered correctly. If true, then the program calls function unlock to put the system in unlock mode. When function lock is called, variable position is reset to zero. The two LEDs, the red LED is switched on and the blue LED is switched off. The relay is switched off and some message is displayed on the OLED screen. Finally, when the unlock function is called, the red LED is switched off and the blue LED is switched on. The relay is switched on and some message is displayed on the OLED screen. This system can be further modified by allowing multiple pin inputs, thus accommodating a multi-user system.